In this tutorial, I'll talk about how to search content in Solar Engine. So as part of this tutorial, I'll cover a very simple use case. We'll search all the data for a specific website and we'll search a specific text. We'll see the more complex scenarios in coming tutorials. So these are the classes which I have already explained in my last tutorial. These are used to fulfill this functionality. Let me explain at a high level how, how it works. I have a path based servlet where I'm just getting two services, solar service manager and solar service. We have one more service uh, path page service, but we are not using in this tutorial. So I got these services using at that date reference. I have created a object of the solar search helper by passing request response and the object of the solar service manager. Once I have everything here means I got the context aware configuration using context aware configuration i got the site id using this site id i got my osgi configuration specific osgi configuration for a specific site with the help of a solar service manager once i have all the data then i'll make call to my solar engine for search so we have three query parameters like search site path what is the site search operation what kind of operation it is like in past tutorial I explained like index and delete here we'll see the search so we'll have one more of search operation like search and if we are searching for a specific text we'll pass that text in search key that's my servlet so if you see this is the path based servlet and I'm I'm getting all these three services using at the rate reference and inside the get I'm creating the object of his solar search helper by passing the request response and solar service manager then I'm calling this method solar search by passing the other two services page services and solar services because this is the common method so I'm passing both I'm not using this service in this tutorial so that's my method the main method in this plain Java class search solar where if you see I got the resource resolver using request you can get from the uh, service user as per your need here from this solar service manager I got this context aware configuration and from context aware configuration I got this ID so I pass this ID using this object solar service manager I got this OSGI configuration for specific ID this is passed as a global variable this is set in global variable here so that will it will be available throughout this class now I got this from the request I got this search operation I'm if you see here I was checking index here I was checking delete so here I'm checking the search if the search operation means this search operation is called search and also I'm getting search key if it is search key then I'm passing search key otherwise null this is the main method which actually giving me the result of the search from solar if you see I'm passing search text and this this means I'm passing the object of the same class so that all the objects all the whatever I need everything is available inside this class and I'm passing the object of this class so that wherever I need anything this I uh, will have as part of this class using this keyword okay if you check this method now So I got this solar endpoint here. I got this helper class. From that, I got this OSGI configuration, and from there, I got endpoint. From the util class, this is my util. I got the client by passing this endpoint of that solar. So what I'm saying here, if search text, whatever I passed from there by calling this method, if it is not blank, then pass the search. Otherwise, this star asterisk star what do you mean by that star asterisk star provide you all the result in solar query we'll see in coming tutorial how to make solar query and all here I will explain how you can make the request to search data okay so how it will work you have to create a object of solar query this object is provided by your solar APIs bypassing my query means the string whatever string I'm passing either star colon star or whatever the text we have now I'm saying solar client dot query by passing collection name if you see I'm pass getting this same class object dot context aware configuration and then collection name means core name and I'm passing this query here right 
this response will get you all the results so what i'm doing i'm getting re this response dot get results and this result is a list i'm iterating this result one by one you can get all how many results you have using this method and i'm iterating one by one each time i'm creating an object getting that value if you see this from and i'm adding in this json object i'm getting if understand here the get first value is if you have array it will return you the first value of that array we'll talk about this in coming tutorials in detail where i explain the query here i just need to explain how exactly this query works okay this how you can make this query how to use these apis so every time every iteration one object is created and it is added in my array if you see this is my search array right and this method return my json array so if you check here come back again to the helper where i'm adding this array and converting this to a string string means it will convert it as a json string and then write back to my response so that whatever the response here that will be available to my browser so check this how this method is look like what i'm doing here it's a pretty simple one and check that method this as well this one okay now let's see how it works in actual browser so here i'm calling this servlet i'm saying search operation is equal to search and my site path is this one so i'm searching for the geeks search if you see i did not add any text so what it will return it will return all the results whatever this site has means whatever this core has so if i hit now you will see it will return all the results with name description and if you see it return only 10 results but still i have more than 10 results in my core so let's check that first localhost 8938 8983 okay let me choose this core and if you see it has 26 results let me search a query here so it has 26 results but still even if i'm searching here it will giving me the 10 results so why by default by default it give you only the 10 results starting from the first index means it's an index zero right and in my case here i'm not manipulating here in query i'm just saying okay give me the results i'm not setting the limit or i'm not setting any page or anything so by default it will return me the 10 results right we'll see these scenarios in coming tutorial the purpose of this tutorial to make you understand how this query work how you should use these three four lines here okay now let me search a specific text here so what i'll do i'll keep it here and i'll say search key is equal to demo okay so and search so if you see there's only three results three results has demo so it will fetch in all the fields okay i did not mention from which field you it should search but it will search from all the fields wherever it is available and it check the combination as well means it will not check exact demo it will check if it is a partial match available okay now again if you don't want to implement this much of stuff for your testing purpose what you can do this important this method is important here okay what you can do here you can pass a hard-coded uh, endpoints means localhost 8938 and then solar and you should be good just pass the here hard-coded value here you can pass hard coded your core name whatever core you created and query will be here and you should be good right i wrote all this functionality because i wanted to implement in a proper way means the production ready but your testing purpose you can hard code these two stuff and can run your this method okay i hope you understood if you have any question add your comment